there's the four bifaces I've got so far. Fourth one was broken. Next, I'm gonna crack into this big nodule of Kentucky Hornstone chert. Just a little bit of mud on it. Trying to decide it's got two pretty good angles to work with. I think I could either start here and work my way down this way, or I could start here, work my way down that way. I don't know if you can see, but this is pretty flat, so I would have to do some work to prepare edges a little bit. There's some cracks going on in here, but I might be able to fix those up. And there's also a little bit of a depression that way. So a slightly better angle for me to work with to get flakes coming here. Been a while since I've taken any large flakes. The first hornstone nodule I took apart was probably the last time I really did any large spalling like this. This face might be cleaner, so it might be easier to take a series of flakes this way, and only the one edge might be messed up by whatever crack is going on here. You can see that it's a little bit messed up there. Kind of, you can see the crack there that runs through here. It goes a little deep, and then there's a big something going on there too. So it might not be the best to use that as a platform, even though it has a slightly better angle. The first flake here has a really good striking angle, so I can take that and then fix up the platform as I go. So I think I'm just going to have to go for it. practiced some big removals first before doing this but yeah time to go big or go home now I'm gonna try and strike around here take a big flake to remove all this cortex and still have some meat in it that I can make a biface out of it Second try got it there, but I think the first strike released it. Or it didn't release it, but initiated it, and then the second strike released. It's a little crusty down there, but I think that more or less did what I was hoping to do there.
Hmm. Might actually be better to come over to this platform to take one here rather than hit there again. Maybe not. I think I'm gonna have to get, take that off so that I can flatten out this face first to attack that section. Maybe I can try to get some blades, some usable blades out of this. Oops. Overthought that one. Let's try it with the antler, see what happens. Just barely hit that platform. It broke apart a little bit up there. Nice blade.
It was a little more than I wanted there, but that's a usable flake. I want to try and get the best pattern in these big flakes as I can too, so maybe if I can incorporate this bit of quartz and stuff in there, get the color change here, take a big flake that way, try and drive it here. Maybe I should just Get as wide of a flake as I can. Yeah, I'll probably end up doing that. Okay, I think that's a good platform angle. If I hit it smack in the, right in the middle. Perfect. Again, the first strike initiated it. Second strike blew off a bit of the platform there. You can see a Hertzian cone. And then it released everything. Pretty nicely, if I might say so. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of, I'm gonna take a little break after that one. Excitement level's a little too high. I'm shaking after those two really nice flakes. Those are gonna make really good buy faces for the cash. Hopefully I can get another big one and maybe a smaller one. You know, these are maybe a little thicker than they could have been. I was hoping to be able to get at least three big flakes by now. Though I did get this nice blade that I can use, turn it into something really nice. It's got that pattern in it.
that would look pretty cool in a in a scraper or something or just leave it as is big blade like this pretty cool it's almost backed because it's just got this and then a steeper angle usable edge there also even though it's partially cortical this is the better sharp edge
Need to take some more out of here so I can flatten this face a little bit more to here. Try and take another big one afterwards. You can see it's still you can see there's still too much of a a high spot here. I want it to flatten out with the rest of this face. Should be a better angle now. It's been about a day and a half since I took those last flakes. Got a little busy. Okay, it didn't overshoot the end of the core here, like I was kind of hoping it would, but that's a pretty good flake. I didn't say for the other ones, but you can see all the way through this one face here that I chose not to use as the platform because, yeah, you can see big Hertzian cone runs through the whole thing this deep, so it does affect quite a bit there but I should be able to work it out of this piece and still get a you know medium sized to small size by face out of that maybe I can get two more nice flakes out of this one
That was real bad. I drove a big Hertzian cone into that. Hit way too high on that platform. There's a little hole in there. It's going to be tricky to get two bifaces out of this, two decent sized ones anyways, because I made a mess of this area and there was remnants of a big Hertzian cone going all the way in there. And there's still cortex. I managed to get three nice flakes off there. Maybe I could just kind of turn this into a little blade core. I don't know how accurate that would be for Fort Ancient period of Ohio's prehistory, but it kind of just has this natural platform here now. Might as well take advantage of that. I've got enough big flakes. I can make three more nice sized bifaces for the cache. Anything I get out of this would be pretty small.
There's not a whole lot I can do down there. So ugly.
I sure went and did some weird stuff here. This did not turn out very well at this end with that big Hertzian cone I left in there. Maybe that I can just kind of leave as an example of what a Hertzian cone is and how it can mess up your plans. But the other half here, I made a fairly decent, you know, blade, blade-like flake core with a flat natural platform up there. If someone wanted to, they could just start taking flakes along here, work it unifacially more or less, all the way down this way and just discard this when you're done. Other than that, I think it was a fairly successful module reduction. Yeah, well, that's not going to win any awards for a most efficient way to spall down a nodule of raw stone, but but I got a couple really decent flakes off of here to make some larger bifaces, hopefully. Or at least wide ovate bifaces like I made in the first two videos of this series. Two of those will match. And I can get a somewhat decent size out of this one if I can work around the flaws. I was hoping to get two flakes out of the remainder of this nodule rather than a strange looking blade core like this. But I think it'll be a fairly useful teaching tool Example of a Hertzian cone and a somewhat opportunistic blade core on the other face, all in one example. Anyways, that's it for spalling down this nodule. Now I'll move on to the big flakes and turn them into bifaces to finish up this cache.